AT&T workers hit the streets of New Haven this morning, but they're not protesting a contract, at least not yet. News A's Kim Pierce on the scene of a rally about contract talks that begin tomorrow. AT&T workers marching in front of the downtown New Haven headquarters of the company. If this looks familiar, it's because it wasn't that long ago that they got through negotiating the previous contract, and now it's time to start with a new one. The CWA contract with AT&T expires in a few weeks, and this rally is to show support for the people headed to the table. It's familiar territory. They just left the bargaining table a year and a half ago after 500 days of negotiating. And the issues there that we couldn't resolve in the 500 days, we said we'd pick them up in this time. The, uh, and the issue is keeping jobs in Connecticut. Another sticking point from last contract is employees paying more of their health care costs. I have never been hit so hard financially in my pocket since the last contract when the company who's making billions of dollars is saying they can't afford to pay for our medical. A spokesman for AT&T has a different take even with the new costs, he says. AT&T health care plans for wireline union employees remain among the most generous and highly subsidized in the U.S. These employees pay nearly 65 percent less for health care than the national average. I understand going across the United States that people have to pay, so I, I know that we have to pay our share, but this company, we work for a multi-billion dollar company, and I feel that they should give back to us. But AT&T says it keeps losing customers, at least for landlines like these workers maintain. That led to thousands of layoffs in the last few years. But remember Hurricane Irene and the Autumn Nor'easter? Union leaders say that was a huge reminder that you need people to maintain and fix all those lines and poles. But it's not hard to understand, when you get rid of 3,000 people, the linemen that, that maintain those poles, and the people that do, those, that, do that work, that what we had happen is, wasn't worse than what we had happen. Again, this is not a picket line. This is just a rally to show support for the members of the bargaining committee who are about to sit down at the table and negotiate. And the hope is that this time around the negotiations are going to go smoother and faster than last time, so you won't have to have a picket line out here. On the scene in New Haven, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.